Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing another unboxing today. Today we have the Assassin's Creed Unity Phantom Blade. So we're gonna obviously unbox it, test it out, see how it feels, see what the shooting uh, mechanism is like, and we're gonna compare it to the other Assassin's Creed hidden blades that have come out previously. Now, from the art on the back, we have three different modes. There's hidden blade mode, there's stealth mode, and then there's firing crossbow mode. From the back of the box, the art, uh, the from the back of the box, it shows that you can wear it in three different modes, the stealth mode, the hidden blade mode, and then there's the firing crossbow mode. Also included is exclusive in-game French Cavalier pistol. Also included and different than the last uh, two packagings, um, this one actually comes with a pictorial, a uh, step-by-step how to put the gauntlet on your wrist and how to use the firing mechanism for both the crossbow and the hidden blade. Nice feature, a nice uh, addition because the last two did not have this although they weren't as intricate. And also the pack-in was the unlock your exclusive pistol, the French revolutionary pistol and uh, the code that they provide you for, the redeemable code at the bottom, sorry guys, I can't share this one with you. Uh, it says that it works for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the PC. So you don't have to worry about picking up uh, anything with the, a logo on it. It'll work for all three. Outside of the packaging, you have your wrist guard, the crossbow and hidden blade itself, and then one of the launching blades. So this retails for $49.99. I picked this up at a EB. I was uh, originally looking at it on uh, eBay actually, I was uh, following it on a few um, different auction sites and most of these were going for between 70 and $100 so at the time I just assumed that I wasn't going to pick one up, I figured I'd wait for a, a massive price drop but I guess with the, um, the bundle coming out, I don't know if these were put out as promotional also or if they just decided that the, the price point was too high but I picked this up for $50 and uh, this was a little more expensive than the other two uh, hidden blades, which I'll show you momentarily. But the way it looks uh, on first impressions, it looks like it's um, a more solid, more well put together piece. So uh, we'll come back with it out and on my arm. So right off the bat, it looks really good with that faux leather. It's made out of uh, a plastic, but it's a soft plastic, so it's not uncomfortable. Um, I would have to say just from the first time putting it on that this is already the best one that's uh, been produced as far as these um, hidden blades um, I guess the best thing I would say right away for this guy there's your hidden blade it fits it fits an adult wrist and forearm I'll show you the other two the other two did not fit the one from uh, Black Flag and the one just from Assassin's Creed 2 did not fit my wrist I'm not the biggest guy in the world but uh, I would say, you know, average size forearm, average size wrist. This is the first one that actually fits. So more extended view. It's uh, held on with Velcro again, but it's a lot more intricate how they intertwine this time. So it feels good on your wrist. Um, I, I would say if you were careful with it, this could be worn like uh, as a Halloween costume or... Uh, with slight modifications, maybe even a cosplayer could wear it because if I shake my wrist enough It does feel like it could come off just uh, Shaking it a little bit. You can see it's already getting loose around the cuff, but overall really comfortable a really nice design and um, I don't know what else I could say except that this is the best one I've seen so far Then of course with the hidden blade uh, inside of its uh, sheath you press the inner button and the crossbow pops open very cool and then you would pull back and you'll be able to launch your arrow I'm not gonna demonstrate the arrow being launched because I don't want to lose it and it's uh, cluttered in the game room right now to see what it looks like this is the firing dart or arrow that they give you and you would pull it the same way back as um, a normal bow and arrow and when you're ready you would release with the Assassin's logo right here. This is the firing mechanism for the crossbow. 
This is the front view, side, and the overall. So, um, again, I just want to say, like, this is um, a very nice design. They put a lot of detail into it. The, the belt buckles look almost real. Like, you have to, like, really closely inspect it to tell that it's um, made out of plastic. Um, not too heavy. A pound? Maybe a pound and a half, if that, I would say. Very light. Very comfortable. Feels good on my wrist. You know, this is really cool. Like, I, I'm happy. This is a... Um, I think this is a definite pickup. I would highly recommend the Phantom Blade for Assassin's Creed Unity. If you're gonna pick up a hidden blade, if you've been looking at it, or if you're collecting them all, this is the must-buy of the three of them so far. Just looking at it, it, you can already tell that it's quality. This is well worth the $50 that I paid for it compared to the other two. Um, this one stands uh, head and shoulders above it. The um, hidden blade itself um, pops out and uh, retracts quite nicely. It's all spring-loaded uh, mechanism. Uh, everything's held together by uh, Velcro when you're wearing it. And uh, it just feels more like... Obviously, the, the crossbow is a little shaky, but that's just so it can pop in and out, and that's on a little gear wheel here. But um, overall, like I would say that this is really nicely put together, and uh, obviously it's going to be a display piece, but this can be worn, this can be played around with. Obviously, guys, disclaimer, don't shoot the dart at anyone's eyes, this isn't a toy, but it is very cool, very cool. And then here's just a quick comparison. This is the Ezio Hidden Blade Gauntlet. Um, fits okay, but um, on my wrists, and again, like I don't have uh, gigantic uh, wrists and forearms, but uh, I would say, you know, like average size uh, adult male. And this barely fits. You can see I have it at the furthest uh, buckle to. The inside, again, is uh, held together with Velcro. This is a, a bit cheaper plastic, and I'm not even going to pop the spring-loaded uh, hidden blade because uh, I've tried to repair it several times and it just flies right off. It's like a flying dart, ex kind of like how the, the phantom blade should be now. Um, if you find it cheap, this is a buy. For $20 or less, this would be a buy. The second one, this is more in the right direction as far as uh, how articulate the work is and how realistic it looks. This is the gauntlet from uh, Black Flag. Again, it's held together. Uh, you wear it with the Velcro straps. Much more detail now. It looks like it's worn leather, but um, this is not for adults. And, you know, they, they market it as not a toy that really young children shouldn't be playing with it because this, even though it is plastic, it is sharp, it is pointy, the hidden blade. Uh, this one, I have, um, it, they all have lock mechanisms on them, but again, it's hit or miss if they pop out like see even now like I'm not gonna reshoot this just to show it like oh look it works perfectly it doesn't always pop out the spring-loaded action on this one and if you look at the wrist you can tell automatically like this is this doesn't fit uh, a grown man it's very small it looks terrific you can see how it goes from one series to the next but um, definitely small this one pick up as a display piece again I wouldn't spend more than twenty dollars on this one and then here is just the side-by-side -side of the three hidden blades again the crossbow the um, black flag in the middle and then the Ezio version um all nice in their own way for display but if you're going to wear this um, to mess around with to have fun with the cosplay or even Halloween costume the only one I would say to pick up is the Phantom bleed as always guys thanks for watching go on with your bad self